hello youtube hello subscribers my name is edu shola and today i'm going to be teaching you how to reverse a biped animation in 3dx max this is an animation of a character a biped character walking then sitting down so in this tutorial i'm going to be teaching you how to reverse that um that like this so the character goes from the sitting position and then walks back like that so it's quite easy just to um, at times you you want to create such effect in your project, so um, the here is how to fix um to get that done. So in this tutorial, for most of you that um, usually don't have the selection range on, so this is first thing to get to to do. Most cases when you open Max, by default this is always off, so your timeline always looks like this. So in this tutorial you're going to right click in case yours isn't on. You will click on your timeline, go to configure and selection range, switch it on. So you have this empty space below. So now, um, to flip our animation, to reverse it, let me put it that way. We we'll first of all go to time configuration. And the main reason we are going to time configuration is because we want to double our end time. So now it's on 160, we want to set it to that's, um, 160 plus 1, that's 320. 320 so now we doubled our end time so right now we can flip our animation and know it will end on 320 without making it longer or too short or something so now i'll select all my keys i didn't do that properly so i'll click select everything so now we have two handles this is the first handle and this is the second handle this is the handle we're using flipping our animation let me just <laughs> Let me switch, okay? Let me go back. So, um, I'm going to pause the video at this point. I need to fix something quickly. Okay, so, um, by selecting everything, all the keys on your timeline, we can see that we have two handles. So, now, when I move these handles, we can either extend our animation or sh reduce the speed. Either way okay so now but in this tutorial we want to flip it and make the um the character go from the sitting position to the standing position so to do that i'll drag the first handle then i'll just you can see it's shrinking but we're just trying to flip it so i just flip it and drop it on 320 that's frame 320 yep so now we have our character sitting but we want to place it back on frame zero so we just select everything again then we can see this arrow it means we, are, we can move this your um your transform key to move or to transform it so we can drag and place it back on frame zero so now we have our character on frame zero so now if we play the animation and set it back to 160 the way it was okay so now if I play my animation, let me deselect everything and play the animation. You can see the character from a sitting position, then it works. So um this this could work for anything. Maybe um you have a character sleeping and you just want him to get up from the bed and act as if he's scared, walk backwards. It depends, you could use it for anything. So um I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I hope it really helped. Um and you could learn from it. So don't forget to comment and subscribe. In case you have a better way to get this done, you could let me know. Just drop a comment below. Thanks. See you guys next time. Bye.